So in revision three, this version here, we were able to integrate a lot of the pneumatic logic, plumbing and everything into one solid block of material. This eliminates leakage points, reduces how many parts, it simplifies the design, allows it to be cleaned easier, um, and has a lot of advantages that from our previous revisions uh, we had issues with and that we've eliminated them currently. It started off as a pneumatic cylinder, we pretty much turned it into an air compressor, but through the integration of machining the blocks so that they have the valves and everything built into them, we essentially built a smart pump that's able to direct the air and control over pressure and do a lot of the, the stuff that uh, the pump needs to control mechanically inside the pump itself. The reason we made all our own valves and everything is that we didn't want to rely on the supply chain to provide parts for us in case there were shortages. When we started this project, we went out looking for very common uh, parts that would meet the parameters that we were going to need, and we were finding that we were seeing some shortages already. So we made the conscious decision to move away from that and make all our own check valves, regulators, everything we made in-house here from scratch. The overall design of how we actually pump the air and control the flow is really not anything super new. Designs where using piston style like this have been around for a while. Where our advantage comes in is now we have a very simple version of that mechanically that we can use 21st century software and electronics to control. The, that part of, of tidying up the design, all just taking something that's spread out over a large area and has you know, dozens and dozens of pieces and collapsing it down into a few pieces that's very simplified. Um, that's really the most exciting part of the, the new design.